Hi guys, so it's holiday season and I thought I'll do something that's helpful for everyone for planning their next trip somewhere. So this is going to be about five things that you should keep in mind before traveling. All right, so let's get into this video. So that you should keep in mind before heading out for a vacation or a staycation whatever so I'm going to start with these uh, five things that you should know so number one so you need to plan your route why I say plan your route is if you're going on a road uh, trip then uh, don't trust Google Maps 100% because sometimes you know it can like totally uh, go wrong so make sure you talk to friends who have gone to that location or check out some of the travel application where you can check the exact route there are forums for travelers riders bikers drivers everyone where they uh, pinpoint on the locations which is not good the route to be taken the route not to take etc etc so you should plan that if you are going on a road trip in case if you're traveling by train flight or bus check how to reach your destination for example uh, you get off at uh, location number a how would you reach location number b do you have ola uber auto so you need to plan that beforehand the best would be to contact your resort manager and he'll help you out some resort also do pick up and drop sometimes free sometimes they charge you for it or they'll help you with the public transport that you can use to reach for a minimal price so yeah number one plan your route well and safe so number two would be to check the temperature I mean there are times where uh, an 18 in Bangalore and, and an 18 in Delhi or Kurk for example would be different. It might be way cooler in Kurk or the 18 might be just a misconception and the temperature might increase whatever. So just a pinball uh, temperature that you should uh, keep in mind which will help you in point number three. So point number three is about packing clothes, shoes, and sufficient. Talks the person who never packs light. I I just can't because I am always worried that uh, I might lose something and then I'll have issues finding another thing, uh, etc. So um, pack light. Plus make sure that you pack your shoes clothes uh, bags etc according to the location that you're going to if you need to trek you need to pack a pair, a pair of sneakers if you are going partying then you know you need heels or a party outfit so yeah keeping keep all the, keeping all that in mind you will have to pack and also the temperature so yeah that is point number three pack light and pack sufficient uh, point number four would be the touristy things that you would want to do in that location. For example, uh, we are in a generation where we don't have a checklist, a checklist in our hand that we want to check when we are going on a staycation or vacation. I like to just relax, eat good food, have a good view from the room, balcony, or whatever. So. If you want to do touristy uh, places, plan your first day and the last day of your stay so that you have one day extra just in case if you want to do something, you know, impromptu or uh, if you couldn't, couldn't check those places on the first day, you can fix it on the second day. So yes plan your uh, sightseeing places on day one day three maybe day two and leave your day three uh, just to relax and chill before you head back to the city and depending on basically depending on the number of days that you're staying there so yes 
That is point number four. And point number five would be places to eat or where you could eat or what what are the what is the kind of cuisine that you get. Um, there are times where people think it's not necessary and you can eat, but there are times when you reach there and you will be like, oh shit, I can't eat anything. Uh, for example, that is what happened in our Seychelles trip. We were like, okay, we're non-vegetarian, we eat everything. So, that would be an issue, but the problem was the pricing. If it's expensive, then you need to figure out and you need to plan accordingly. So yes, you need to check what you get at what amount, where to eat and what you could do in case if you are on a budget trip you need to carry food or maggi or like ready to eat stuff from home and uh, prepare there so yeah that is number five and well so these are the five things that you should keep in mind before traveling anywhere and also be safe wherever you're traveling and um, travel essentials are always a part of the travel routine so i'll keep that for the next video and i hope this video helps you in some way or the other and i have more travel videos coming so stay tuned and if you like my channel and if you like my content please like share share it with your friends share it with your family share it on whatsapp and subscribe to my channel so I'll see you in the next video till then.